Hi, I'm Billy Bourgeois with Compass, and today I'm going to share with you seven mistakes to avoid when downsizing. The first one is smaller doesn't necessarily mean cheaper. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that because a property is smaller in size that it will necessarily be more cost effective. While most home sellers are right in thinking that they will save on energy usage and utility bills in a smaller place, they can often forget to take into account the additional costs like increasing transportation fees or potential long-term maintenance costs. Forgetting to weigh up all the possible costs of your new property can be detrimental to your budget, especially if you're looking for something a bit more cost-effective for your day-to-day -day life. Number two. Buying unnecessary storage containers and furniture. While it's extremely important to be organized when selling your home, make sure that you don't get ahead of yourself and buy unnecessary items. If you don't know the exact dimensions of your new property or haven't purchased it yet, the worst thing you can do is buy unnecessary storage containers, boxes, and furniture that won't fit and that you'll only end up wasting your time and money. Wait until you've sold your home and measured up the size and space of your new place. Number three, forgetting to cancel services and utilities. Make sure to prevent any potential financial road bumps after the sale of your home. Failing to disconnect or redirect services like your internet, phone line, and utilities, as well as your home and content insurance can cause unexpected costs and really throw your budget off balance. Your realtor will remind you of these important steps. Number four, failing to budget for the move. A sure way to end up with financial trouble is by failing to budget when downsizing. Make sure to leave enough money to pay the bills and home and content insurance of your current home, as well as the cost of your new home or rental. To cover the period between selling and buying the new property, let's look into a bridge loan option. I can speak to you about this as well as put you in touch with a proper mortgage lender. Number five, leaving it until the last minute. Not giving yourself enough time to pack is a classic mistake, but you'd be surprised as to how many people actually still do it. Even the most efficient of organizers would find it exhausting to sort through an entire life's belonging in just a few days. Give yourself sufficient time to at least have three to four weeks to pack up your home. Set aside time in blocks of two hours to tackle one room at a time. On a similar note, give yourself the same amount of time to unpack. Number six, clinging to the past. The emotional cost of sorting through personal belongings can be astonishing and is often underestimated by home sellers. It's only natural to show affection to personal items that you've accumulated over the years. The best way to handle this process is by having a downsizing plan in place and writing down a list of what to pack and what to get rid of. No matter how hard it is, be ruthless and stick to your list. Last but not least, number seven, not comparing agents. As your real estate agent, I have the industry experience and knowledge to make your downsize successful. A big mistake home sellers often make when downsizing is not choosing the agent that's specific to their needs and what they're looking for. As your agent, I know the local area and I'm able to suggest storage facilities and moving companies as well as provide useful tips. Let's get together. Please reach out to me so that we can make your downsize successful.